Hello, pure yogis. Welcome. I'm Susie Shock. I'm going to guide you through a little meditation today. Um, so let's just find a comfortable cross-legged seat. Um, spine is nice and long. Sitting bones rooting down evenly. Palms can be facing up. Um, it's more of a posture of receiving. On your knees or palms facing down if you need a little more grounding. All right, let's gently just close your eyes. So if you have any issue getting eyes closed, which I do some days, um, just gaze down at the floor first and then let the eyelids follow. And in the beginning, I just want you to not judge where you're at in this moment. So if your mind is a flutter, if your eyes are a flutter, if your body's having a hard time finding stillness, um, I would love for you to just find a little gratitude for yourself that you got here in the first place. So not to judge what your meditation time looks like. I really have no idea what I'm going to say today. Um, I'm just going to allow divine messaging to come through. And we'll see what happens. So, think about just lengthening out your breath to begin with. Filling the lungs on the inhale. Pausing and holding the breath in the body. And then exhaling when needed, when necessary. And then try to get a really good deep exhale as well. Like you're moving everything out. All the stale oxygen out of the lungs and you're replenishing with new. And if you can consider your life in the same cycle. Every moment is something new. Every single moment. Every breath that you take is something new and moving forward. So if you're in a position in your life right now where things feel stuck and stagnant, know that that's just temporary. And throughout your practice today, let's begin to focus on that which you do desire, rather than the things that you don't like or don't want. Because when you follow down that road of the things you don't want, your energy follows that as well, your vibration follows that as well, beautiful sweet universe is just going to answer and say all right that's what she wants that's what she's spending her time focusing on so as you're breathing deeply I'd love for you to consider your breath as divine light And every single breath that you take is your opportunity to manifest and re-manifest. Exactly what you want from your body, how you want it to show up for you. But think of it as an exchange. Your breath in, you're bringing divinity into your body and it's circling around with your humanness and your individual self and it's releasing back out into the universe as divine love and it comes right back in and it mixes with your individual self into universal self and it's this beautiful ebb and flow. And every single breath you take, you have the opportunity to remind yourself of who you are, that beautiful, divine perfection. 
Each and every one of us is a divine being, a spiritual being. We're perfect. And I would love for you to practice that with yourself. I am perfect. I am love. I am of God. God is of me. I am beautiful. I am abundant. And just notice how these things feel and how they're hitting you right now. Is there resistance to it? Because I know when my vibration is lower and I'm struggling, my resistance is a little bit of anger and frustration. And what I would love for you to do now is just honor whatever it is that you're feeling. Because it's just temporary. In this moment, you may be angry. Throughout our practice, our meditation, you may actually be able to shift into joy or peace or calm or surrendering. I don't think there's a more beautiful place to be than in a space of surrendering. Like you're opening your hands and you're just saying, I don't know how to do this. And you're allowing something bigger, which is also a part of you, to come in and take over. You don't have to know how to do everything. And when you can surrender, you're opening yourself up to that infinite potential and allowing the Creator to step in and do it with you. That's when I'm in frustration, is when I'm in separation from that. When I try to do everything on my own, thinking I know the right way. Miracles happen when you surrender and just allow co-creating. So think of the breath of your beautiful divine light that's making its way into your body right now. Think of it moving into every single cell. wrapping up every single cell with this just divine hug, pure unconditional love. And maybe you can actually feel that light moving through the body. But allow yourself with every single breath to move it through the body and then ground it into the earth. And then maybe open your palms Offer an intention of surrender. What is something that you have been going around and around with in your life? Where you feel a struggle or you feel limited, concerned, fearful. And can you just open your palms offer up an intention or a prayer saying, I don't know how to do this and I need some help. And then can you sit back and listen for the answers? I promise they will come. It's 
sometimes my mind is so active I can't hear anything. And so my request is make it so big and loud that I can't miss it. Maybe it's someone coming into my life and telling me exactly what I needed to hear. I remember being out for a walk and having this argument with the Creator, with Spirit, actually saying, I don't even know how to get out of my own way right now. And I need some words of affirmation, and I can't hear them from you right now. Send someone, send anyone. And the moment I got back from my walk, there was a text from a dear friend across the country letting me know that something I did for her changed her life. And that is exactly what I needed to hear, that I was making a difference somewhere with someone. And my message to all of you today is that you are making a difference. You are loved and you are making a difference in this world. Right now I'm being brought to share with you information about your energy centers, your chakras within the body, and each one represents something divine and beautiful. So the first chakra, which is in the very base of the spine, We often think about that as stability in our lives. And you may not feel stable in your life right now. And as I said in the beginning, I would love for you to shift out of the negative thoughts into manifestation for the first chakra. The first chakra is all about grounding that divine love so it can hold the space for all of the other chakras to do their work and activate and they build on each other. So the grounded being is now open to manifest. And the way we ground and center is just by finding a place of calm and quiet. And just asking and allowing divinity to come in. opening your palms and saying we are co-creators. It's the individual melding with the universal that creates one spirit being. Your second chakra, which is located right at the belly button or slightly below, is divine rebirth. It's taking the first chakra, manifesting, and then creating with it. Divine creation. Every single breath that you take, you're recreating your body. Think of every breath that you take as a rebirth, an opportunity to create. And what does that look like for you?
maybe you don't know right now and that's okay and then you just sit in the pause and you say I don't know but I trust that great spirit does and in the right timing will communicate that to me as long as I stay grounded and open to receiving third chakra is divine will not my will but thine be done means stepping out of the way of the ego that wants to control is fearful of situations that are unknown fearful of change and again that's okay we're living a human experience beautiful divine will though when you feel like you're forcing something and you're continually running into walls and challenges can you pause and open up a little bit more and say okay this path is not good right now it's not working right now what am I not seeing what am I missing I don't know and that's when you offer up another prayer I don't know help me to scope out so I can see the bigger picture and understand what's getting in the way could be just the simplest of tweaks but again you're opening up and you're offering to co-create divine well fourth chakra right in the heart space right at the lower part of the sternum divine will or divine love everything that you are about should be based in divine love I'm going to take the should out of it and say is in divine love It's when your ego and your mind get in the way that you step away from knowing and remembering everything about you is divine love. And that's when the vibration is sent out. That will manifest whatever it is that you desire as long as it's rooted in divine love. Not in greed, not in fear, not in scarcity, but in love. Love is abundant, love is infinite, expansive. Co create, and you will find divine love in everything. fifth chakra right in the base of the neck it's all about every single breath that you take has the ability to transform your physical experience divine respiration every single breath that you take that you bring into the body is divine love transforming the body as long as you allow it and that's that darn ego that wants to get in the way again telling you differently that it knows a better way step back scope out and remember every single breath is miraculous and can transform everything sixth chakra third eye right between the eyebrows that's remembering who you are it's remembering your perfection your spirit 
It's your divine intuition. It's your voice of spirit, voice of God, and it's remembering that. It's thanking your sweet brain for doing the things it needs to do. But your brain's limited with what it knows. is waking up to divine wisdom. And those messages oftentimes come in very softly. And if you're continually distracted, you'll miss them. Finding the time and the space to just breathe. Just breathe in silence. And your crown chakra, very top of your head, is your awakening to all that is, the energy of all that is. Your connection to God, spirit, humanity, all of creation. It's the gateway for divinity to move in and through your body. You are spirit living a human experience. And when your human experience ends, you'll be spirit again. It's a never-ending cycle and it's infinite. Be love and be that which you desire. It's really very simple. It doesn't always feel simple. You are love. You are love. You are love. You are love. Spirit is asking you to be that love in action. Not as a verb, not as an emotion, but just as the essence of who you are is that love. It's who you are. It's remembering who you are. Imagine the world if everyone could remember who they were. That beautiful, perfect soul that came into a little baby body and that beautiful, perfect soul that will move back into spirit body. That is who you are and that is who you will always be. Breathing spirit in, allowing spirit to work with you, to help you, to transform you, breathing spirit out. yourself to stay in this pause as long as you would like. If 
feeling the vibration of love moving through you. Namaste.